Improving the throttle response and fun factor of your vehicle has never been easier. Follow along as I install the AMP 2.0 throttle booster and add a little driving excitement to this Durango. Before installing the AMP 2.0 throttle booster, be sure you download and install the AMP app to your smartphone via the Google Play App Store. Simply scan the QR code to access the download. Ensure that your Bluetooth and location services are both enabled for the app. Navigate to the Devices section found in the app and follow the instructions for connecting to the AMPED module. You'll only have to perform this for the initial setup. Select the device to connect to, and if the device isn't listed, try refreshing the page by swiping down. Once your device has been successfully connected, the light on the module should now be lit red. Be sure to register your product, that way you receive the latest updates and more. Begin the install by disconnecting the negative battery terminal. This helps avoid tripping any fault codes. Now look under the dash and locate your vehicle's accelerator pedal position sensor. Disconnect the harness from the sensor. This is usually located near the top of the pedal assembly. Connect each end of the two harnesses included with the AMP throttle booster between the sensor connector and the vehicle harness. Connect the other ends of the throttle booster harness to the AMPED module. Go ahead and reconnect the battery and turn the ignition to the run position, but don't start the vehicle yet. The status light on the module won't light up until it's connected to your wireless switch or smartphone and the learn procedure has been completed. To connect the included wireless switch, make sure that the batteries are installed and the positive terminals are visible, then install the battery cover. In order to connect the wireless switch, you'll need to hold it within six inches of the AMPED module while it's powered up and press either of the buttons on the face of the switch panel. The red indicator light should flash three times on the module. This indicates that the switch is now paired with the module. To connect your smartphone using the AMPED app, ensure that the Bluetooth and location services are enabled for the app. Navigate to the devices section in the app, then follow the instructions for connecting to the AMPED module. You only have to do this for the initial setup. Select the device that you want to connect to, and if the device isn't listed, try refreshing the page by swiping down. Once you're connected, the status light in the module should now be lit up red. Once the initial setup has been performed, use the included zip ties to neatly secure the module under your dash. Make sure that the mounting location you choose doesn't interfere with any pedal movement, and try to mount the module in a position so that the status LED light can be easily seen. The next step is to allow our wireless switch to learn the pedal function. Before you start, make sure that the switch is paired to the module. We performed this earlier. Check to make sure that the pedal travel isn't impeded by the floor mat or any other object. Keep your foot off the pedal until the procedure is complete. Press and hold both buttons on the switch panel until all indicator bars are lit up green. The bars will stay lit for approximately 8 seconds, then begin to scroll, indicating that the module is now ready to learn. As the bars are scrolling, slowly depress the vehicle's accelerator pedal completely to the floor, then release it. Do this several times until the status indicator lamp on the module turns green. A green light indicates that the pedal relearn is successful and completed. If the light doesn't turn green, you'll need to repeat the relearn process until it does. To perform the pedal learn, using the AMPED app via your smartphone. Navigate to the devices section in the AMPED app. Make sure that you have full pedal travel and that it's not being blocked by the floor mat or any other objects. On the mobile device, select Pedal Relearn and follow the instructions to complete the procedure. The indicator light on the module should turn orange, indicating that the pedal learn has been completed and the device is now active. If the light doesn't turn orange, repeat the relearn process until it does. Changing performance levels. To change your performance level using the wireless switch, Simply press the left or right arrow buttons found on the switch panel until the desired performance level is selected. To select the performance level using the mobile app on your smartphone, open the app and toggle using the left and right buttons on the virtual switch or press the desired performance level from the list. Only the first five levels are programmed from the factory. Using your smartphone, you can create and custom tailor three performance levels for your vehicle. Three positions were intentionally left blank for you to create and save custom curves. Custom curves can only be created using your smartphone. With the app open and in the Levels section, select Mod, or you can go directly to the Curves section in the app. You'll find the first five levels are preset from the factory and cannot be adjusted. But if you select Mod, 
you'll be able to start a custom performance curve. There are 10 positions on the curve. Each position can be adjusted up and down with your fingers to increase or decrease the sensitivity in that particular area. The curves can also be fine-tuned using the negative and positive tabs found at the top of your screen. Once you're satisfied with the adjustments you've made, you can save your customized curve to one of the bottom three custom performance levels. That's it. Now you too can have total throttle control with the AMP 2.0 Throttle Booster. For a complete list of vehicle applications or for more how-to videos, visit us at holly.com.